natin makukuha yung positive factors ng isang number. Hello mga kahabiters! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am Habiter Ralph and for today, we are going to deal with this extra math challenge question. Okay, so this question na alala ko, isa to sa mga question sa MTAP na competition when I was in elementary. So, paano ba natin isi-solve itong question na to? Paano ba natin masasagutan to? Okay, how may, and the question is, how many positive factors does 100, does 100 have excluding 1 and 100? Okay, paano ba natin makukuha yung positive factors ng isang number? Okay, let's say, let's say for example, the number is 12. Ayan. Paano ba natin makukuha yung positive factors ng 12? Okay, ano ba yung mga positive, ano ba yung positive factor? Yung positive factor, yan yung mga number na kapag i-divide natin sa 12, wala tayong makukuha ang remainder. Okay, let's say for example, 1. 12 divided by 1, that is 12. And kapag i-divide natin, wala tayong makukuhang remainder. So, si 1, isa sa mga positive factors ni 12. Next is 2. Kasi 12 divided by 2, that is 6. And wala tayong, wala tayong remainder kapag i-divide natin si 12 kay 2. Next is 3. Okay, 12 divided by 3, that is 4. And wala din siyang remainder. Next is 4. 12 divided by 4, that is 3. So, wala din tayong remainder. Next is 6. 12 divided by 6. That is 2. And the last one is 12. So, yung kanyang sarili is isa din sa mga positive factors niya. Kasi 12 divided by 12, that is 1. So, kung bibilangin natin, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six positive factors. So, meron tayong six positive factors of 12. Pero what if kung yung number natin is malaki? For example, one, one million or one thousand. So, kung ililisting natin, matatagalan tayo. Ano ba yung technique para mas mapadali natin siyang isolve? Okay, ganito yan. Step one. Kailangan natin kunin yung prime factorization ng isang number. Okay, so dito, yung number natin is 12. Ano ba yung prime factorization ni 12? So that is 2 squared times 3. Okay, 2 squared times 3 kasi 2 squared that is 4 multiplied by 3 that is 12. So kaya 2 squared times 3. At ngayon, ano ba yung mga distinct prime factors ni 12? So yung distinct prime factors ni 12 is 2 and 3. Okay, para makuha natin yung positive factors ng isang number, kailangan lang natin tingnan yung exponents ng distinct prime factors ng isang number. So dito, ano ba yung exponent ni 2? So yung, yung exponent ni 2 is 2. Yung exponent naman ni 3, meron, meron tayong 1 dito. So, yung gagawin lang natin, let's say positive factors, PF, ayan. Mag-a-add lang tayo ng 1 sa mga positive, sa mga exponents ng distinct prime factors natin, then i-multiply natin. So, we have 2 plus 1 multiplied by 1 plus 1. That is equivalent to 2 plus 1, that is 3. 1 plus 1, that is 2. So, 3 times 2, the answer is 6. So, same kanina, we have 6 positive factors of 12. Okay, ngayon, balik tayo sa question. So, kung gusto nyo i-copy ito, pwede nyo i-pause yung video. Okay? So, balik tayo sa extra math challenge question natin. So, erase muna natin mga kahabiters, ha? Ayan. So, how many positive factors does 100 have excluding 1 and 100? So, yung number natin dito is 100. Ngayon, ano ba yung prime factorization ni 100? Okay, the prime factorization of 100 is 2 squared times 5 squared. Kasi 2 squared, that is 4. And 5 squared, that is 25. 25 multiplied by 4, that is 100. Okay. So, ano ba yung mga distinct prime factors ni 100? Yung distinct prime factors ni 100 is 2 and 5. And ano yung mga exponents nila? Yung exponent dito ni 2, that is 2. Yung exponent dito ni 5, that is 2. So, the number of positive factors of 100 is equivalent to 2 plus 1. Always tayong mag-add ng 1, ha? Multiplied by 2 plus 1. So, 2 plus 1, that is 3. 2 plus 1, that is 3. So, 3 times 3, the answer is 9. So, we have 9 positive factors of 100. Pero may restriction dito. Excluding 1 and 100 daw. And ito si 1 and 100. Dalawa yan sa mga positive factors ni 100. So, magma-minus lang tayo. 9 minus 2. So, itong 2, yan yung 1 at 100. So, 9 minus 2, the final answer is 7. So, therefore, our final answer is equal to 7. Ayan. So, kung may natutunan kayo mga kahabiters, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And that's all for today. Again, Ako si Habiter Ralph, and see you sa next video. Ingat!